Dear viewer, good evening and welcome to Current Issue. With me tonight, uh, our State Senator, Mike Kowal. Mike, welcome again to MEA. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Mike, as I know, you've been a State Senator for, for over seven, eight years. You are the majority leader in, uh, in the floor, and, and you introduced a lot of bills, and, and you were very successful presenting the, 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 the citizen of Michigan and your district in Lansing very well. Tell me why you want to go to Washington. I know you are running for the 11th district. Uh, why you want to go to Washington as our representative, uh, a congressman and U.S. congressman? Well, as you know, I introduced all the bills on the autonomous vehicles, the yes. connected vehicles, uh -huh. and the Center for Mobility out there at Willow Run. That's going to bring in $1 billion of brand new money that was never even here in the United States. It's wow. coming in from all over the world. Yes. We need to make sure that Michigan stays number one in research and development in the auto industry. What we've done here uh, currently, we've taken Michigan and we, we've secured our place in, in the world as, as being the number one. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is we have to fight hard to keep it because China wants it, England wants it. The global economy, the global all economy, of that. Yeah. Know, we want to make sure that we're the ones leading the, leading the fray because yes. this is the home of the auto industry. Mm -hmm. That's why I love the people here so much because, you know, in, when you people move to California or they move to Florida, they're thinking more about relaxing and not really working. Anybody that migrated here came here for one reason and one reason only, to work. That's and right. To raise their families. Absolutely. And to live in peace. Uh -huh. And those are the kind of people that I enjoy representing. And I want to be able to go to D.C. to make sure that our children's educations are, con you know. But before we go to D.C., honestly, the, the, the auto industry, you know, it's, there is a thousands of thousands of business attached to that. Oh, so yeah. when they do good, everybody good. The whole economy do good. Exactly. And, and that's, your, you, you, that's what you are more interested in, in Lansing. The, uh, it's that ripple effect. Yes. Because the big car companies, they employ a lot of people, but it's the sundry industries. Absolutely. That, and it's everything, right from uh, you know, somebody cleaning the house to the local store on the corner to a market. Yeah. to gas stations, and it's, it all revolves around that. When well, the, auto, work, the, the spending power will be there. The spending power will be there. We yeah. can see now what's happening here in Michigan. Yes. We have uh, about $350 million of additional income that came into the state. Uh -huh. So that tells me that when people are working, they're paying taxes, they're spending money, and it just, it's, it just snowballs. So we end up, everybody does well. Tell me, you did a great job in, in for, the, for the whole citizen of Michigan. When you go to Washington, what's your plan? Well, the plan there is, uh, first I have to figure out where everything is. That'll take a little while. <laughs> 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 but, uh, you know, I want to make sure the, the autonomous vehicle industry is secured here in Michigan. Yeah. We want to make sure that the, the educational system is brought up to speed, uh, not only in Michigan, but the rest of the country. We need to focus on skilled trades. Yes. We don't have enough skilled trade people uh, to do the work. All the new buildings that are going in in Detroit, there's 10 years of skilled trade work downtown now. And that's, yeah. and those, that's not even the buildings that aren't put up yet. So there, there's probably 20 years of, of secured income for people that go into the skilled trades. Yes. And we have the, the best university, we have the, the, the best educational system that we could get those skilled people. Sure. Well, yes. we, have, we have terrific, you know, educational systems here. Yes. We have great two-year universities like Oakland Community College, Macomb Community College, yes. uh, Schoolcraft Community College, sure. and they're teaching some of the skilled trades. But we have the finest four-year universities in the world. Absolutely. And all you With have to do is go down to U of M and, and look at the faces of the kids that are going there. Mm -hmm. A lot of them aren't from here. They're from, they're from the Middle East. They're from yes. China. They're from Japan. They're from different parts of Europe. And they know that they're going to get a world-class education right here in Michigan. You know, Mike, I go to the Middle East a lot. And, and United Arab Emirates, which is uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi and all that, 60% of the leader there, 
they graduate either from Michigan or Michigan State University. True. So imagine. When, when I bring the, the, the executive uh, f uh, from Macomb County and Mark Hackle, and they, when we, and I'll tell them all the time, the roads and the roads. And they complain there is not enough funding from federal to help us fix the road. Is that one of your goals? Well, that's to, a big to, goal. To, that's yes, that's the ahead. ultimate goal. See, yes. Michigan, because we're a peninsula, yeah. we're not what they call a pass-through state, where trucks just drive through and they pay the tax to use the roads. A truck comes to Michigan, they're, they're delivering or picking up. Mm -hmm. And, and that, you know, that's what their job is to do, but they're not traveling through the state. We need to make sure that we get back, you know, dollar for dollar what Michigan needs to rebuild, you know, I-75, yes. all the big expressways. And the ones that we are rebuilding now, uh, we just finished up the uh, I-75 at Square Lake Road intersection. Yes. When they're doing that, they're putting in all the high technology to, uh, to make sure that, uh, that, the, um, uh, that the optic fiber cable is there, that everything's yes. there for, uh, for the needs of the future. So you're going to work to get more funding from federal Absolutely. Uh, to, to, to the roads. And it's not just the roads. It's yes. our sewers yes. and it's our water. I mean, uh -huh. we saw what happened in Flint. Exactly. We have yeah. uh, zip codes in Detroit where the, uh, the lead level is higher than the ones in Flint. Yes. So we have to make sure that that's all replaced and updated. Yes. Uh, Mike, as you look at Michigan, there are a multi-ethnic minority from different ethnic groups and all that. And immigration is an important issue to all those people. We are 100% against stopping the illegal to come in from U.S., no matter where they're coming from, if it's from Mexico or Middle East and all that. But there is a lot of things that the, the immigrant uh, that care about to have uh, a good immigration uh, 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 law that, that, that if they want, for example, to bring their relative, legally of course, or to have uh, uh, somebody uh, that a friend or relative to come here as a student or as a professional and a goal legally. Are you going to work with the rest of the, the Congress to have uh, 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 an immigration law that cover all that? We need to create a, a really good immigration policy. Yes. And it's, it's not just, you know, from Mexico, it's from all over the world. Exactly. And we see uh, the uh, Iraqis that came in and mm -hmm. they got in a little bit of trouble when they were kids and then yes. they're, they're now uh, sitting in, I believe it's Youngstown, Ohio. Exactly. But we need to, cons it needs to be considered what happened and why, why what the situation was. Mm -hmm. A lot of these people are, are, they're good business people. They employ hundreds of other, other exactly. people. And they, they did the crime 30 years yeah, ago. 30 years ago. When he was 14, 15 yeah. years, like that kid, you know. See, yeah. th those, those are the ki kind of things that, those are knee-jerk reactions, and they mm -hmm. need to be, uh, we need to stop that. You know, we need to be a little bit more welcoming with, uh, with people coming in. We're, we have a shortage of people, yes. Michigan especially. If we don't boost our population up, we could lose a congressional seat. Mm -hmm. And that gives us that much less power in Washington, D.C. And those western states, they want our water. Yes. They want to take our water and, and ship it out there. And, you know, as long as there's breath in my body, that's not going to happen because that's what makes Michigan, one of the reasons that Michigan's a great place to live. Absolutely. With, with, with good water. So are, you are going to be working because that's an important, not just to the Middle Eastern community, but to Everybody. many, many, all the ethnic minorities. Well, my family immigrated here. Y yes. You know, my, yeah. my grandparents came yeah. from Poland. Uh, my other grandmother came from uh, Bathurst, New Brunswick. And they... Uh, they assimilated, they got jobs, they, uh, you know, went to work here in, in Michigan in the car plants yes. and, uh, you know, raised their families and now their grandson is raising his grandchildren. Great, so it, it, great and that's story. What, and that's what people are looking to do. At, that's what America is all about. That's what America is. Yes. Tell me about your campaign. What's what's uh, the the city that covering your eleven district? Oh, it's it's a big district. It okay. starts down in uh, in uh, Wayne County. It's uh, Canton, uh, Livonia, Plymouth, Northville. Uh, then it comes up into Novi, and then it's my entire Senate district, which is Novi, Wixom, Wall Lake, uh, West Bloomfield, uh, uh, 
Commerce Township, White Lake, and then it jumps over to Waterford, and then up to Lake Angeles, and then into Auburn Hills, and then all the way over into Troy. Wow. It's a big district. Yeah. Do you cover the whole cities or just part of those cities? No, the whole, well, ju West Bloomfield, just part of it. Part of it. But uh, the rest of it, I, uh, all of them. Like Novi or Waterford, yep. and all of them. All of them. So that's a huge district, you know, and, and, and there is a good, a good um, percentage of Middle Eastern people living there. Yeah. 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 And working there. Tell me, are you, I know, uh, Mike, throughout the years, I know you for a long time, and everywhere I go to event or anything, I see Mike there talking to the community leader, uh, see what their need and all that. And, and that relation, I'm pretty sure, is going to help you now uh, to get vote for you in those, in those cities. Well, we recognize the needs early on. Yes. And I was, there was myself and representative at the time, Mark Schulman, mm -hmm. and we started the funding for the Chaldean Refugee Center. Yes. And the Arab, you know, Car Arab Chaldean Refugee Center mm -hmm. over in, uh, I believe, at Sterling Heights. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, we were the ones that secured the money for that. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make sure that when the refugees come in. The Chaldean the, Foundation. The Chaldean yeah. Foundation, when yes. they come in, that, uh, that they're given direction, that they're given help that they need, whether yes. they need to go find they have to find a doctor or a dentist and just the basic needs and those are the kind of things that needs to be recognized on the federal level and I noticed the other day there were some bills moving that seemed to be going in that direction but um, some of you know some of the other states don't have a lot of Middle Eastern people living there absolutely you know, you know, so they don't really yeah. understand yeah you know the needs mm -hmm. I would say somebody out in Montana would have a hard time understanding true you know, and that's why we need you there because you understand the the, 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 eth the culture of the ethnic minorities and the importance of those ethnic minority on, on, on economy, on, on all the social issue and, and, the, and the political issue that happening well, you know, here. You, the Middle Eastern uh, family, I'm going to call it, yes. is, has businesses in every aspect of, of, of what we do here in Michigan. Absolutely. Everything from uh, manufacturing, all the way, all the way to uh, you know, landscaping companies. Just it's all across the board. Yes. But they're all making a living. They're all doing well. They're, you know, uh, part of the community. That's what we want. Yes. Tell me, what's your plan? And if you go to in Washington, and hopefully, yes, you will be there uh, to bring more business to Michigan from different states. Well, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Since we did the autonomous vehicle, I keep yeah. going back to that, but. Yeah. Um, well, it's important. A, there's over 600 new companies have moved in just from that, what, the minute the governor signed my bill. Wow. And every day there's new companies coming in. We have Uber, Google, uh, Lyft, um, all these different ride share companies that yes. are they're mapping the streets right now. I don't know if you've seen the cars with the mapping devices, but they're, they're looking at every aspect. So all those companies are bringing, you know, hiring new people here. Yes. Their biggest complaint is that they can't find people. Mm -hmm. They're looking for more people, so we're, we're going to have to really work on that. And, and that's why, you know, we, we, we have to have open our, our heart and, and door to other people to come to Michigan. Sure. If, and, and again, we say in all the legal people who well, could come to we, Michigan. We want to do it the yeah. right way. Yes. Because, you know, when you're coming into a new, you're coming into somebody's home. Yes. You want to make sure that you, you're polite, you do things the right way, Absolutely. you follow all the rules. And everybody's everybody's welcome at that point. Great, you know. Yeah, but Mike, I know you've been you've been involved, as I mentioned, uh, with the with the Middle Eastern American community in every level and for so long. What's your message to them? I mean, if I got somebody like Mike Kowal who served the community so well, it's the time for me now to go and 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 vote for him because. I know you did a great job in, in, in Michigan. You're gonna do the if you do the same job in, in, in Washington, we'll, we'll be honestly, we'll be very happy to send you there. And I'm pretty sure you could do that. Well, that's one. What's thing, your message? To that's that? one thing you can be guaranteed of is that when I make a commitment on a on a project or on a, on a, a or a promise that I make, I keep it. And yes. I've made commitments and promises to the uh, Chaldean community you know, over the years that I would help them out. And I would conti I continue to do that, and I will continue to do that. Yeah. As long, as well as, you know, all the other ethnic other groups method. that are here too. Yes. Because we have, 
Novi has a large group of Japanese and East and Indian. We have the Syrian, we have the Jordanian, Syrian, we have Jordanian. the Palestinian, we right. have the Egyptian. And, you know, as I mentioned, your district is multi-ethnic from all multi-party, from all ethnic minorities. My district right now is the biggest mix of yes. di different ethnic groups. Yes. I, I think, well, I know for sure in the state of Michigan, yeah. but probably in the country. That's right. You know, because yeah. we have the largest Arab population here. True. You know, right yeah. here in Dearborn. Yeah. So well, Mike, I, 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 I wish you the luck. I know you are, if, if, if there is anybody qualified to do the job in Congress, it's you because of your experience, because of your involvement with the Michigan economy, with the Michigan social issue, with the Michigan education, fighting for the, for the, uh, the citizen of Michigan, and I know you're going to do the same thing in Washington. You can, Thank you so much. You can rely on that. Thank you so much, and good you're luck. More, well, you're more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you. The reviewer that was my interview with Mike Kowals, State Senator Mike Kowal. He proved himself over and over that he is a friend of the community, that he has been with the community, talking about their issue, and honestly fighting very hard for their issue. And, and for example, the funding for the, for, the, for the Chaldean Foundation, and more than that, and so I want you to, to, to take that to consideration. And when you go to vote on August 7, vote for somebody who qualified, qualified. Somebody that he did a good job for us here, and we 100% we, we sure that he's going to do the same job in Washington. So don't forget to first vote, first vote, and then vote for Mike Kowal for 11th District. Thanks for watching, and good night.